the softness, the comfort, the durability, the feel of cotton. From t-shirts to towels, cotton products are the popular choice among today's consumers. Families depend on cotton for the way they look, the way they sleep, and the way they live. And consumers can be assured that they are buying the best quality product the U.S. cotton industry has to offer. Cotton is a basic raw material for thousands of products. The three billion pounds of cotton consumed in U.S. textile mills each year go into apparel, home furnishings, and industrial products. 112 million gallons of cottonseed oil are used in food products such as margarine and salad dressing. Cottonseed and cottonseed meal are used in feed for livestock, poultry, and fish. And even products such as toothpaste, ice cream, and the paper money used to buy them contain byproducts of the cottonseed. U.S. cotton's contribution to the national economy is significant, and it's growing. Cotton production is at the highest level in more than 50 years. The retail value of cotton is estimated to be more than $100 billion. Cotton means business to America. If all the cotton produced annually in the United States were used in making a single product such as blue jeans, it would make over 5.1 billion pairs. The cotton belt covers the southern half of the United States from Virginia to California. Texas is the leading cotton producing state in the U.S. historically, accounting for approximately one-third of the U.S. cotton crop. Many cotton farms are still family owned and operated on land that has been with them for several generations, but farming today is more than a lifestyle. It's a diversified business requiring many different skills. A successful cotton producer is an economist, a smart risk manager, and is familiar with computers and accounting programs. Producers consistently deliver a plentiful supply of safe, low-cost fiber, despite uncertain weather and economic conditions. And all of this must be done while taking care of the most valuable asset, the land. Issues that were once considered agricultural concerns are now issues facing the urban population. Preserving the environment and food safety are issues not only on the minds of farmers, but teachers, dentists, and lawyers too. Modern cotton production systems are designed to strike a balance between economic and environmental concerns. Variation in climate and soil require different production practices from region to region. Combating the threat of soil erosion, producers in windy areas leave the crop residue on the soil year-round. Terracing and contour tillage are standard practices in sloping terrain to prevent washing of valuable topsoil. The wide use of minimum tillage and no-till systems contribute to reducing soil movement. Cotton producers constantly work to improve efficiency. Pest management is one area where they see new approaches paying off. The boll weevil, the pink bollworm, and other cotton damaging insects are controlled through integrated pest management. This approach depends on natural populations of beneficial insects, improved plant varieties, and cultural practices that require a shorter growing season. The greatest promise for controlling harmful insects is found in research labs, where genetic engineering is resulting in plants with genes resistant to specific pests. Insects, weeds, and disease cost cotton producers two and a half billion dollars annually in damage and lost yields. Cotton's growing season is five to six months, the longest of any annually planted crop in the country. Planting begins as early as February 1st in South Texas and as late as June 1st in northern areas like Missouri and the Texas Panhandle. The first signs of the plant emerge within the first two weeks. About a month later, flower buds called squares form. These squares are followed in three weeks by creamy white blossoms. These blossoms quickly turn pink and then dark red before falling off. What remains ripens and enlarges into a cotton bowl. Bowls open approximately two months after bloom, letting air in to dry the white clean fiber and fluff it for harvest. Harvesting begins in July in South Texas and in October in more northern areas. Cotton is entirely machine harvested in the United States. The stripper harvesters of Texas and Oklahoma remove the entire bowl from the plant. In other areas, spindle pickers are used to pull the cotton from the open bowl. 
revolving barbed spindles entwine the fiber and separate it from the bowl. From the fields, cotton moves to local gins for separation of lint and seed. The cotton goes through dryers to reduce moisture before passing through cleaning equipment. Revolving circular saws pull the lint through closely spaced ribs that trap the seeds. Finally, the lint is removed from the saw teeth. The gin was invented by Eli Whitney in 1793. The name gin is short for engine. From the gin, fiber and seed go different ways. The gin fiber is pressed into 480 pound bales. To determine the value of the cotton, samples from each bale are classed according to fiber length, strength, fineness, color, and cleanness. Growers usually sell their cotton to a local buyer or merchant. Then it's sold to a textile mill in the United States or shipped to mills in international markets. The grower sells the seed to the gin, which sells it for feed or to an oil mill. Here the downy fuzz of the seed, called linters, is baled and sold to paper and plastic industries. The seed is processed into cottonseed oil, meal, and hulls. 922 million pounds of cottonseed oil are produced annually, making it the third leading vegetable oil in the country. At the textile mills, the bales are opened and the lint is mixed and cleaned further. A machine finishes the job of cleaning and straightening the fibers and makes them into a soft, untwisted rope called a sliver. There are two types of spinning. Ring spinning is more common in the United States, but open-end spinning, which spins the yarn much faster, is becoming more widespread. The yarn is woven or knitted and is sent to a finishing plant where it is prepared for being made into clothing or products for the home. U.S. textile mills presently consume 6.4 million bales of cotton per year. The majority of that is converted into apparel and home furnishings, and the remainder into industrial products. Cotton is used for every type of clothing, from coats and jackets to foundation garments. The majority of its use is for men's and boys' clothing. Cotton supplies this market with jeans, underwear, and shirts being the major items. Cotton's home use ranges from bedspreads to window shades. It is by far the dominant fiber in towels and washcloths, supplying almost 100% of that market. Cotton is also popular in sheets and pillowcases. Industrial products containing cotton include wall coverings, book bindings, and zipper tapes. The biggest cotton users in this category are manufacturers of medical supplies, industrial thread, and abrasives. Cotton is a major U.S. industry that provides jobs, generates income, offers programs that meet human needs, and provides a safe and dependable supply of food and fiber at the lowest cost in the world. From field to fabric, cotton brings quality to life.